for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my apartment Pinterest must-haves. These are things that I either saw on Pinterest and was inspired to purchase them, or things that I think that would just make your apartment look so aesthetically pleasing and very Pinterest vibes, like those picture-perfect apartments you see all over Pinterest. So really excited for today's video, and everything I talk about in this video will be budget-friendly because you guys know I love picking up things for my apartment and getting things for my space that are within a good budget for you guys. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing is the ever so popular Ikea shelving. Now they do make this in two different sizes. I have the taller one, but they do have one that is shorter. This comes in the colors black and white. I opted to keep mine black just because it matches with my apartment aesthetic currently, but if I ever wanted to change it, it's great because it's very easy to just simply spray paint it and change the color. It works in pretty much every room in your apartment. Even I think it would be great in a bathroom if you had the space in your bathroom. My bathroom is super, super small, so it won't fit, but I have recently seen people on Pinterest using it in the bathroom. I had mine in my bedroom last time you saw it, but currently it is in my living room next to my TV, and I love it. It's great to store things on or just have as like a decor piece. Number two are these canisters that I got from West Elm. By the way, I will have everything I talk about in this video linked down below. These are just the most popular thing I think I get the most questions on anytime I show them in a video. They're actually more on the affordable side because you guys know West Elm does have some more pricier pieces. However, the quality with all of their furniture is just absolutely exceptional. It is probably my number one place to go when I am shopping for things, but these canisters are just so universal and I feel like these are canisters that I will keep forever. I won't really need to get them. They'll match in any kitchen and I think it's really cool how they have the wording on them. So I think that those are just a great way to add something to like your kitchen space. And again, they aren't super expensive, but they are really great quality. The third thing I want to mention is Hive. They are smart home products. If you guys have watched my channel before, then you saw my last video where I'm actually going to be making over my mom's living room with the help of Hive. So they do sponsor this channel and they're sponsoring videos in that series, which I'm really grateful for. I'm so happy that they support this channel. However, they have some of the most amazing products I've ever used. It's become really trendy to have smart home products in your home and it's been all over Pinterest and it's one of those things where you look at it and you think that you need to be a tech enthusiast to have those in your home. However, Hive is not like that at all. It makes it simple for anyone to have it in their home. My mom isn't the most tech savvy, but it was very easy to set it up and install it in her place. I just think it also changes up any space and makes it look so much more expensive and luxe and if you're on a budget, they do offer several different packages. So this is the high thermostat that you can add and it comes in a package with different things depending on which package you choose for yourself. Another great thing about it is you can choose the package that works for you and if you don't want to pay in full right then, you can pay it off in payments monthly until it's paid off. So very budget friendly, but just alone, like the Hive thermostat is awesome. They have these sensors that you can place on the doors and windows that will alert you when they're opened. You can have the Hive smart home app on your phone and do all of that just like directly from your phone, which is so amazing and like I said, very easy to install, so that's something that I think just like overall changes the look of your space, but it also makes it so much easier to use things in your space. They even have light bulbs that you can hook up to it and you can control them from your phone and you can know like if you left a light on. Just, I can't say enough good things about Hive Home, so if you guys were thinking about making your home a little bit smarter, I will have the link for Hive in the description box down below for you guys to check out as well as I'll put a little breakdown of the different packages they offer so you can see what would work best for your space. The fourth item is a mirror that I did see on Pinterest. Again, it is from Ikea and I tracked this thing down and I was really shocked when I found out the price point of it because it is a really large size mirror, but it's great for even small spaces just because it attracts a lot of light. It looks so expensive and you would never think that it was like $120 just because they do have other mirrors from different places that I've seen that are half the size for the same price. So really affordable, really great quality. I've had mine for a few years now. I'm actually thinking about getting another one just because it brings so much light into a room. I feel like I need one in every room of my apartment. Number five is marble. Adding marble pieces just make your place look so much more luxe and expensive. It's one of those trends that I really don't think I'll ever get sick of. I feel like marble just can't really ever go out of style. It's very classic and I personally like getting things from Crate and Barrel and Bed Bath & Beyond. I find that they have the best selection of marble pieces. They're really great quality and they're not going to break. They don't look cheap 
and they're just overall awesome. So I will show you guys a couple of my favorites here that you guys have probably seen before. These are a bunch of the pieces that I have and as well as I'll link some down below that are my favorites. Target sometimes has some as well, but I find that they sell out so quickly. So it's easier to just get them from places like Crate and Barrel and Bed Bath & Beyond because they usually always have them stocked. For number six, it is a must have for me and that is having some sort of greenery around your apartment. I have always opted for like the faux and fake greenery pieces, but I am in the process of transitioning and getting some real plants in here. I think it just will overall be better for my space. And my only concern with that is I've been having a really hard time finding pots that I like that aren't like three to five hundred dollars. So as soon as I find some good like larger size pots, I will incorporate a ton of real greenery into my space and I can't wait to show you guys that in a future video. Number seven is having some cute storage solutions. Lately my go-to has been Target, but in the past I've gone places like Ikea and Home Goods. There's just so many places, but Having organizational pieces that don't look like an eyesore and aren't super ugly will just help you feel a little bit better and they'll make everything in your space just organized and it kind of will encourage you to organize more when you have everything in a place and it has like a space where it belongs and it can still be cute. You don't have to get ugly organization pieces just for the purpose of holding things. Number eight is something I've been loving a lot more recently and believe it or not, I get all of them from Ross and that is just having some ceramic figurines I don't know why, but Ross has like the best selection of them. Whenever you go in there, I've seen a lot of ceramic pieces actually that came from Anthropology that just ended up at Ross for some reason. So I would highly recommend checking there, but these are great just to add all over just to kind of decorate a space and they work as a great little small affordable decor piece. Number nine is having some trendy coasters. Now, not only are these going to look good scattered throughout your apartment, they are going to save your furniture. It's just an overall must have, especially with, I feel like furniture nowadays is being made cheaper and cheaper. So when you put different like drinks and stuff down, it can ruin certain types of furniture depending on what material it's made out of. But my favorite are the ones from Anthropology. Not only do they look really good scattered all over my my apartment but they're actually serving a purpose and saving my furniture. I also will sometimes even put my candles on top of them so they aren't getting warm directly onto the furniture. So those are one of my Pinterest go-tos. Last but not least is candles and lately I've been kind of shying away from my Bath & Body Works traditional candles and going for more aesthetically pleasing candles and just candles that are actually better and soy. I feel like a lot of the Bath & Body Works candles, at the end of the day, the scents just make me sick. So I am kind of, as you see back there, burning the ones that I have and just kind of getting rid of those and investing in better quality candles around my space and some that will also work as decor pieces because they have like cuter labels on them. So those were all of my Pinterest must-haves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the high smart products if you guys are interested in any of those for your space. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!